Hello, my name is Rosie Jefferson and my favorite quote to live by is no rain, no flowers, no pain, no power. Throughout my life, I have been presented with various challenging obstacles that I believe have molded me into the well-rounded woman that I am today. My various struggles with food have taught me to embrace the idea of wellness instead of the idea of being skinny or fit. My depression taught me to love reading and writing, which resulted in my passion for social justice and ultimately my newfound goal of being a therapist within prisons. The first item I would like to present is broccoli. For my whole life, I would commit myself to various fads and diets uh, with hopes of being prettier or skinnier, and it never worked because I never enjoyed them. So in 2020, I decided to commit myself not to a diet, but to wellness and the idea of being healthy and not only nurturing myself physically, but emotionally and mentally. I show broccoli because um, fixing my relationship with food was a big part of this idea of wellness. Uh, so now um, I embrace food. I, food is not my enemy. Food has become my friend. Uh, and it has become a big part of who I am and my lifestyle and what I advocate for. Um, ultimately, restoring my relationship with food elevated my quality of life. The other items I would like to present are my journal and one of my favorite books by James Baldwin. I'm showing you these items because when I was 13, one of my favorite therapists that I will never forget told me to write my feelings down onto paper and maybe I'll feel better. I did feel better, but I didn't stop there. My journaling became creative writing and my creative writing became a passion for reading. I often read uh, Black authors such as James Baldwin and I enjoy reading about Black history. This history taught me um, about the mass incarceration that takes place in the United States of America, something that I'm not okay with and that I'll never be able to forget. So I decided to commit my life to restoring uh, these practices that take place within the prison systems in America. I would like to do this by becoming a therapist and working hand in hand with prisoners and really giving them the restorative practices that I feel uh, our current prison systems do not give them. Uh, and if this can mean lowering recidivism rates and heightening success stories upon reentry into the community for these prisoners, um, it would be a very, very, very fulfilling job for me. In the end, although my problems with health and my problems with depression um, have really presented lots of various struggles in my life, I do not believe that I would be the woman that I am today without them. So whenever it feels like it's raining really hard, just count on the fact that one day in the future, that rain will be, will be the food to feed your flower. Thank you.